Oh my god, dude. This is resealed. What the frick? That happens with these? Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And I have a dog that year round, not just in October, participates in the tradition of trick or treat. Except for the trick is, she's just really cute and she gets the treat. That's just how it works every day. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Spooky Nickelodeon flip! Finally, Bob's It's about to get a whole lot brighter rep pack because your boy is here. And today, as you guys know, we're gonna be adding some awesome stuff to the collection, trying to get that world's biggest Nickelodeon collection as always. But we're gonna be going to one of my favorite stores and that is Walmart. They always have some brand new stuff when it comes to SpongeBob. But the last time we went there, we actually got a surprise and we found this SpongeBob vampire inflatable decoration, which is absolutely awesome. But that was at the start of September. They've been stocking early with Halloween stuff. So I know there might be some new stuff that's in stock along with also while we're there looking for some general Halloween decorations because you guys know in October we're gonna be making this entire place spooky but we're gonna head over to Walmart to see what they got I'll check in with you guys in the car let's go oh oh caught me right see that caught me right in the <laughs> Before we head out, all of these trick-or-treaters just arrived to your door and they're big and they're they're pleading for some candy. They want some of that Jimmy Neutron candy on screen that's like very close to drugs. Yeah, very addictive. And they're not gonna leave until you give it to them. So make sure you guys smack the like button, because if you hit the like button, it'll give them the candy and so it'll save your house from getting teepeed or worse, poop bagged. Mm. Anyway though, let's get in the car. So guys, we're in the car right now. We're heading to Walmart. One of the main reasons we're doing this Walmart trip also is because I need to get a replacement key to the back gate because whenever we do videos, we have to actually throw stuff out. And as of right now, how have we been getting stuff over that gate? We haven't. That or we heave it over the gate. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. it has to be just like thrown over and then we have to go all the way around to pick it back up. Whether it be apples, whether it be pieces of wood, whether it be watermelons, bricks, cinder blocks, 90 pound bags of concrete. You see how these things keep getting bigger? It's very, very frustrating. But we're gonna be getting a new key. So we're gonna be doing, of course, all the Nickelodeon cartoon hunting, seeing what we can find. But along the way, if we can actually find an awesome cartoon related key, why not? Let's try and find one. And maybe I'll even get one made for the cavern if we can find a Nickelodeon one, but that's very unlikely. I think but anyway guys let's go ahead and head into the store I'll check in with you guys when we get there but let's get a new key as well all right so we've arrived you see the thunder you see the rain to the derelict dumpster I think it is a derelict is there a person named Daryl that licks like I don't even understand anyway let's get inside the store all right guys so we are inside the store right now we're actually in like the food department but this is the cereal right here only three dollars at Walmart we have the Nickelodeon these are all damn it look at like a mint one let's see whoa this is called spacing they did a good job it's called illusion <laughs> yeah there's not a lot left but we're gonna grab two we'll grab three of these why not for freaking three dollars I'm gonna get these for the collection this is so awesome and you know what I'll give away one of them on whatnot so you guys aren't already following me on whatnot make sure you guys go follow you get 15 dollars off your first purchase so i highly recommend it but and i'll be giving away one of these to anybody random in the stream okay next item we found we're trying to find some halloween stuff because it is halloween time we found some halloween spongebob socks they say scaredy pants on them which is just so cool and then these ones say trick or tree with the gary with the actual pumpkin so we're gonna grab these for sure and they have other ones too they have snoopy they have stitch but i'm just gonna grab these ones because are the nickelodeon ones i don't see any other nick ones but these are collection of course, it's the main man, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't it be? It shouldn't be anything else. Okay, another awesome find. Check these out. Those are so amazing. <laughs> Pink and yellow for Patrick and SpongeBob. Add that to our pile. Oh, and we got a pumpkin. If you guys want to see us do a Nickelodeon Jack O' Lantern challenge, let me know. We can make that happen for Halloween. October is going to be all spooky cartoon themed videos. I hope you guys are ready for it. <laughs> Okay, we have enough socks, but they also have some more right here. This is awesome, weird, and then they have all Nickelodeon ones, which are my favorite ones here, because it has such a variety of different shows on it, but they're like 10 bucks, so we're probably gonna hold out on those ones. And the Scooby-Doo ones, too, are almost gonna get me. That's awesome, but we have enough socks already. There's, I literally have hundreds of socks that I haven't worn yet, but hopefully we'll find some other stuff non-sock. Okay, this 
I'm talking about, dude. We got the Pest of the West, and I'm pretty sure this is to go along with the Cosmic Shake that's been really popular right now. The trailer for Cosmic Shake actually featured SpongeBob from Pest of the West. This is a dope hoodie, dude. Oh, I yeah. love it. It doesn't have anything on the back. It is pretty simple, but since we're at Walmart, I don't expect it to be much. Dude, 20 bucks. Yeah, I'd grab it for that sure. That is for sure. That's an instant grab. Absolutely. Okay, they don't have my size, but you know what, man? I don't care if this thing's gonna look like a dress. I'm gonna get it. It's a 2X. So either way, I'm grabbing it, but it just shows you how popular it was. This thing is going fast. All right, checking another one of our go-to sections. We got the actual Avatar best action figures. I already have this Aang. I'm gonna leave the guitar for right now. We're gonna hold on to Zuko. I think this is the same thing we did last time. I held Zuko and I was like, unless we find something better, we'll get Zuko. So we're gonna wait till we get to the toy section, but we'll hold on to it for right now. I'm still gonna go back over here to the DVD section because we're still looking for the Patrick Star Show along with a bunch of other DVDs. So let's go check out that. Okay guys, so we're in the SpongeBob DVDs and every single year they re-release this one right here. So you'll see this copy pretty much every year, but this is a new cover, I think, that I don't have at least. They may have done it last year, but I don't have this one. And then we get the Legend of Bikini Bottom, which is a full stop motion episode. <laughs> Then they also had Clip of the Big Red Dog, which is made by Paramount, and the Paramount logo on it was orange, but it didn't say Nickelodeon on it anywhere. So I technically don't think it is, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. And oh my God, have you seen Twitches? They have Twitches. I have not seen Twitches. That is an iconic Disney movie, but I didn't even know they made a Twitches too, to be honest. Oh, look at that. Happy Halloween uh, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, I saw that one. We already have the older version of that. So this is, this is kind of what they do around Halloween. It's just kind of release the same like time movies that are around this time, like the classics, I guess you say and then they sell like you know that's the thing about making a great christmas or halloween episode is they sell every year year after year after year these same spongebob halloween episodes have been making them millions probably all right guys so we're of course gonna check out the gaming section the only nickelodeon game here i don't have is that peppa pig one which we're gonna go ahead and leave for today but they have some crazy games it's just crazy to see they have some digimon game harvest and moon like these are games i grew up with they still keep releasing things keep going on even as you get older and you stay focused on one thing dude even ryan's got a game now Come on, I think Ryan has like three games. All right, guys, so we looked at the, the keys. There's literally nothing here that's Nickelodeon themed or, I mean, the only character they have is Hulk and Grogu, just two green guys. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it. But which one should I get? I'm thinking about this monkey one. <laughs> Go with the orange one, the big old orange Oh, one. that's a good idea. I yeah. actually like that idea. <laughs> I thought you monkeys. were going to say this soccer ball. <laughs> All right, we'll get this one for the room, and then we'll get another one for the gate. Ah, the orange was a good idea, but they didn't let us get the orange, so the closest key I could find for the cavern was this. How does everything I do end up revolving around SpongeBob? There's other stuff in the room. Yeah, not really. Yeah, but that's my favorite, and you know that. We found this too, the Bakugan Evolution box. Like, I don't even like, like Bakugan like that anymore. I used to watch it on Cartoon Network, but this box looks absolutely monstrous. And the whole display is so cool as well. Now I gotta hand it to him. Yeah, <laughs> and you gotta hand it to Hot Wheel too because they're on the hand. Hot Wheel is now doing tech deck type of things. They come with shoes, a car, and a skateboard. Damn. Wow. I just kind of feel bad for tech deck. You know, they've been over here doing this thing for years. And yeah, Hot Wheels unrivaled. Like, oh, okay. I guess we're just gonna do that now. And then look what's on sale for tech deck. Let's keep looking around, guys. Let's see if we can find those durables. Okay, so you guys knew I was gonna stop over here because I told you about my new addiction, the Dorables. So right here we have this set right here. It comes with either five to seven. I don't know how that works. These are the two rarest ones in the set. Ryan popped them up last time, so hard to find. These are the individually packaged ones where it comes to two to three of them. How do they make that work? Like sometimes we make a profit, sometimes we don't, or is it just always a profit and sometimes they make a real big profit? It's, it's, it's the latter. <laughs> yeah, but I think what we should do is let's go ahead and grab two of these and we're gonna hope that we get at least five and we'll see if we save money. So now this party section is always tried and true when it comes to SpongeBob stuff, we could find something. We got the can hugger right here. We're gonna grab that for $1.90. And we got the bros cup right here. We're definitely gonna grab this as well. So we get these two items right here for like less than $5, awesome deal. Yep. I knew you were gonna do that. I knew it. So what do you think? I don't approve of it. So. I don't like that. I don't like you when you do that. I'm honestly gonna hate you. This is actually the only pinata that I actually do want to hit. So I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and take this. Absolutely not. Yeah, I was ready. You don't know when I'm gonna throw it. 
Now in the cut section, they don't have anything new at all. The same one we've seen every single time we come here, but it mostly came here so I can see Parker's face when I do this. So we're leaving Walmart now, guys. We got a lot of stuff there, but I also want to stop by one place that we don't typically stop by, and that is actually Ross, because I've been seeing these SpongeBob Frankenstein's boxes popping up everywhere, and we got to head that direction anyway to head back home. So let's go ahead and check out Ross. But nonetheless, we're gonna be dressing for less. Let's get to Ross. Okay, so we lucked out. We're inside Ross. We got lucky. There's actually one left, and I'm not gonna lie. It looks like some of them are melted, and the box is a little bit ringed up. It's got an opening here. But man, I just wanted it for this box. This box is so cool. So oh, we're gonna yeah. pick it up and get this guy for sure. This will look great in the background for all of our Halloween videos in October. But since we are in here, let's go check out the guy in the toy section. Okay, guys. So we didn't actually find anything in the toy section, but we did get this. 15 bucks. 15 bucks for this. At Ross? Yeah. That's kind of high. That's that a little is high. Ooh, way too damn high. But this is an awesome box. I had to pick this one up. Let's go ahead and take this guy home. Awesome find. Okay, guys, so we made it back, and that was unbelievable. We found so much awesome stuff, and we got so lucky that Ross had that last box left. So let's go ahead and hop into it and have everything on the side here. We're going to go through all that awesome stuff, see what we got in those doorbells, and, of course, add everything to the collection. Oh, I can't even wait. I can't wait to check out the DVDs, too. There's so many awesome things we got. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, we're going to get started right now, guys, but on screen is a friendly reminder. If you're not already to follow the comfort cartoons in Instagram. It is on screen. We're posting new updates of the collection all the time and even some items that never even get featured on the channel. So I recommend you guys check it out. All right, so starting off, we got some socks. We got to go with the basics here real quick. So we got the pink and the yellow socks. I think these socks are kind of cool because we already have like the SpongeBob Nike shoes along with Patrick Nike shoes. And a lot of times you can find them on eBay brand new, that particular duo, because usually when people bought both pairs, they wore one pair and the other counterparts to that, to their design are still brand new. So so out in the wild, there's a bunch of singular SpongeBob and Patrick shoes due to that. But they're not just that, they have the Walmart Patrick and SpongeBob shoes that are already designed to be two different shoes. So I think these are a perfect sock to go with any of those ones. So I had to pick those up and it's another item for the collection. And then we have the Halloween themed ones which are awesome as well all year round because I'm the kind of person that likes Halloween stuff like the full year. So this is awesome though, we've got the Gary with the jack-o-lantern. <gasps> Dude, have you seen the new Nick Box like promotions? No. Okay, well, I'm gonna show you right now, absolutely. Brian's gonna pop up the picture for you guys, but here's a little shot of the box itself. Oh, that's sick. You know it's gonna be dope. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do, but something Dutchman themed, the Dutchman ship as a pin would be cool. Any Dutchman themed clothing would be awesome. There's so many epic things they could do with that. I'm excited to see what they do, but we got the socks right there added to the collection. All right, the next up, we have the Nickelodeon cereals. So I actually do already have this in the collection because Mitchell actually brought it one day So I got super lucked out that he brought that but we actually found some more So I'm gonna be like I said giving away one on whatnot. I'm gonna keep another one for the collection But I didn't get a chance to share with you guys. Let's check it out They have a Applejack slime tastic shake which actually looks really freaking good, dude I love how they put the the Applejack along the rim kind of like a margarita. <laughs> this is my type of adult drink All right, and then we got the word search. Got it. That doesn't even make any sense. It's how many times can you find slime? I'm in the puzzle. Yeah, I got it. How many? 36. You're a harlotin. But dude, this is so cool because you know how when we do the Nickelodeon magazine videos, they always have these door cutouts. It's kind of reminiscent. We have to keep out or be slimed. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind cutting this out and putting it on the door for here. Like that is so cool. Like that's perfect for the room in here. I think the coolest part about that is that it actually like greens your milk. Stir and watch your milk turn green. That is true. But does green apple flavor sound good in cereal? Green apple? Oh, you've never had Applejack? I've had apple, but not green apple. He's a red apple, my what friend. You, bro, it's it's the same cereal. They didn't change the cereal. It's <laughs> the right. same. It's, it's good. We're not going to eat it right now. We'll save this to the side. I don't like to eat food in here too much, so we'll put this to the side for right now. But an interesting thing is that there was also an original Nickelodeon slime cereal, and they're kind of similar in packaging. Like, they're not the same, obviously. This is Applejack. Probably tastes better than that one does. It turned the milk green, too, but it was just like a Lucky Charms ripoff kind of thing. I mean, you know, like, in a few years, maybe like five to ten, they're going to do this again. You know what I mean? I it's, know. 
know, always dude. something they could just redo. They did Nickelodeon catch up and we completely missed it. It just happens. This happens and it, just, it goes and you're gone. And it's gone. So well, hopefully they make another Shrek and then do the catch up as well. <laughs> you know they're going to make another Shrek. That is more inevitable than there being a whatnot promo right after this. All right, guys, if you guys do not know already, but at the start of next month, I am going to be doing a giveaway right here for DD, the signed DD Pop by the voice actress herself. Absolutely amazing and a gem mint 10. And that is going to be given away on whatnot on screen. You get $15 off your first purchase, an absolute steal. You can get so many things for under that price for absolutely free. So I couldn't recommend it enough. And you can even use it on this auction. But this girl right here is going to be giving away 100% free to one of you guys that's participating over there on whatnot. So the link will be down below. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. All right, so next item we are gonna be doing is the Dorable. So if we get more than five, we save money based off of the package that they had that came with five to seven. But if we get less than five, that means that, I don't know, I guess we just kind of got ripped off kind of. So let's just see what we got here. But Ryan's got the entire set list on screen so he has to see which ones are our options. Okay, so they're individually packaged. Oh, what the hell, dude, did we get robbed? I swear to God, look at that. Whoa. I think we got robbed. Oh my God, dude, this is resealed. There's Legos in there. What the frick? That happens with these? With the value that these things have, I guess they're like, screw this. I can't believe that. They, they I, must have returned it. I know that's, that's for sure how they did it, but I cannot believe that they did that. So here's the thing, you never buy individuals ever again then. That you know? is a trip, dude. So we then, just got robbed. I'm a guy that comes from the Pokemon community, so like I understand, you know, thievery very well, but I never imagined that that had translated into something like this. Even Funkos, they don't have that happen. The Mystery Minis, that's crazy. Yeah. So honestly, how tight this is makes me feel like this oh, one's okay. Yeah, this one's okay. And we only got two, of course. Um, okay, let's see what we got in these two. What if we get the best ones and they missed it? That would be uh, some poetic justice. Poetic justice, that's what I like to see. Oh! Oh, I don't know how rare that is, but it is glittered. So I would imagine it's pretty rare. A very cool one indeed. Not the one I was like hoping for. I'm hoping for any of the Toy Story pieces or hopefully just something that'll work, I guess. All right, the next one up, what do we got? Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. We got Hercules. Okay, I like that one at least. Not that I don't like that one, I'm just not familiar, but Hercules is absolutely awesome. Good one to add to the collection. I wish we'd got more, but unfortunately we got kind of scammed, but I mean, we just know. At least that that happened, I guess, on this and not like a bigger box. Yeah, I really didn't know how serious it was, but as Parker was saying, like some of these can get very, very expensive. So when money's in the room, so are the derelicts. I learned that word recently, so I'm doubling up today. Next up, we got some smaller items, and that is a cup that says bros. And I've talked about it before. It's kind of rare that you see SpongeBob with his lowered teeth, but this is the same design we've seen that on the past. And then we got this drink cozy, which like, I feel like this could have been like something they gave away for free at someone's office, but then they added SpongeBob. True. <laughs> like, why do you only see this fake water and these fake fish either at like an office or in like an Asian nail salon. Like on the wall, they have like one of those like ones that just like a motion blur in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's not real. <laughs> to be honest, I'm probably not going to use this, but we are building the world's biggest collection and this is an item nonetheless. And it was like a dollar, so I picked it up. All right. And then next up, we got two DVDs. We have the Halloween DVD and the Legends of Bukini Bottom. But I think we have these in the collection, but I know we don't have them sealed. So let's go ahead and check them out in the collection and see if we got them. I'm going to do a little review over there and if not then we're gonna check them out okay that came in clutch dude because i don't have either of these i have the christmas version of this which is it's a spongebob christmas which is in kind of the same stop motion style and i have the halloween dvd but this is the older disc style not the new one so this was clutch like i said we got both of these into the collection and we can check out the back of the disc right there so we're probably gonna show you these are literally an exact replica of each other no new special features no anything different there's even the same video game add on this one that's for a game that's probably from like 2000 so it's like an exact rip of their disc but they release it every single year and they make money on it because i mean it's just like that's the goal of making those classic ones so let's go ahead and check this one out and we might throw this one in but maybe not because we've technically seen it for over a decade okay so when we get to the opening menu it's the bikini bottom cemetery which is actually kind of cool we have countless memories over there as far as schmitty man Warbenhand jensen i guess i'm gonna have to take it from you to squidward's lost and forgotten Dreams. Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. What a baby. But let's go to the special features. And we got the music video for Scaredy Pants and the sneak peek video game. So this was a disc that's released in 2022. Let's see what the video game sneak peek is. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman on PS2. 
Wow. <laughs> That's before Battle for Bikini Bottom. They definitely probably could have. And that was a like test footage, honestly, more than it does even like anything else. Okay, but I mean, they could have updated the ad. That's okay. Let's check out the music video. <laughs> I feel it! Are you feeling it now? Yeah, I'm feeling it! I'm feeling like we should change this. That's an interesting one. I actually hadn't heard that before. That could have been like a buffer maybe that was on Nick, but that's actually on this one. Let's just check out Legends of Bukini Bottom. All right, so opening it up, you listen. You got typical SpongeBob background music. I wish they would have added some kind of spookier sound, you know, maybe like a, a slightly edited spooky version it would be sick. All right, let's see the behind the scenes, see if there's anything special in here. Happy Halloween! Send your candy to Patrick Star. Happy Halloween! And don't think you're getting any candy from me. Leave me alone on Halloween! Yee, doggy! Y'all ready to get scared? You're gonna love it! <laughs> okay, so there's an awesome Happy Halloween to all of you guys from the cast of Spongebob. That was pretty much what was on there. An awesome little trailer before you get into the episode to kind of have a vibe of what's going on. Stick around, we're going to be adding this to the collection. As you guys know, the Spongebob DVD collection is pretty vast, and I can't believe they're adding two new copies to it. All right, Alligator Mouth is on screen. What are you saying? The original Halloween disc or the new Halloween disc? I'm saying OG disc. They had the Bikini Bottom Cemetery background. You got the music video that was popping. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll agree. I'll agree okay. with that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys let us know on screen. Let's see the next item we got here. Let's go ahead and pick out this guy. And that is the dope, the absolutely dope SpongeBob hoodie. Honestly, I will be going back to Walmart fairly soon, I'm sure. So I'm gonna look for this in my size. This is so sick. I love this. Like, this is like a shirt. I would honestly, like, if this was at like Urban Outfit or somewhere else, I'd pay 50 bucks for this hoodie. And it's you know what's interesting is like, you don't ever see SpongeBob branded stuff in this color. That's exactly what I was gonna say. It's that beige color. It's that like, Nice, like, earthy feel with them in the cowboy outfits. It's just such an awesome vibe. I mean, $20 at Walmart. The hoodie is decent quality. I definitely got to say, I mean, freaking, I got the triple XL, so I got more material than most people did. <laughs> this thing will be an absolute dress on me, so I'm not even going to try this one on, but it's going to be awesome in the collection and an awesome find that I recommend you guys go check it out if you haven't already. And the next up, we actually did end up picking up the Zuko, and this is actually book three Zuko, correct? Yeah, but that's a book, that's book three outfit it says in the back it says he believes firebending is the most dominant art and can never be bested by water earth or airbending that's like season one zuko <laughs> there we go we got zuko and i wanted to get that one before we get katara because eventually i will get the katara too but my priority was to get zuko first and the last item my favorite item here today actually even though it's probably the most minimal is the crusty crab frankenstein spongebob box so you get 80 krabby patties i mean that's kind of a lot of krabby patties Patties, but most importantly is this box. This box is gonna be so cool in the background as a decoration just because you know you don't see a lot of Halloween stuff that perfectly Nickelodeon or fits this room. So this is an awesome piece I can't wait to put in the background there. And of course, unfortunately, we won't be eating any of those Krabby Patties. <laughs> but that is actually it for today, guys. We found all this stuff at Walmart. You guys saw the key that I ended up getting. It wasn't this cartoon theme as I wanted it to be, but we did get a new key for this room as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you smack that like button. But stick around, we're gonna add all this stuff to the collection, but before that, into the drill. Scan it. So for the Franken Bob, we're actually gonna keep him to the side with the rest of our Halloween decorations because we're not gonna set up any of this stuff till October 1st. So stick around for that. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. And very soon we'll add them to the collection. All right, and for the cereals, I actually don't even have all of my cereals up there. I have a bunch in my kitchen, but I really love the box on this slime green one. I put the powdered toast mail one in front of it though because it was blue to kind of match with the blue ones I already had in here though. But I think if we get another like cereal box that I really like, we might move this powdered toast man one out because all of these are official release cereals whereas this one's kind of like a box lunch kind of specialty cereal and then of course we're gonna save room for any type of rough tart cereal that comes along the way <laughs> that might just eventually go all the way out but for right now that's where it's going okay so you guys know the spongebob section my whole goal is to make it to where we have every piece of spongebob media accessible to us in this room so the fact that we were missing two key halloween dvds blows my mind so we have the original halloween disc and we got two of these i kept this one brand new sealed and this one right here is open because i want to be able to watch 
watch it if we need to. So let's go ahead and put these back. I have the Christmas disc right over here. So I'm gonna put this in front of Christmas and then we'll add the Halloween one to our little sealed section. And for Zuko, he's going right up there. Ooh, every time I get a little bit more scared, someone's gonna knock us out from the sky. But we're fine. Okay, and the socks and the 3X shirt will go with the rest of my Nickelodeon clothing in the Nickelodeon closet. And this can hugger will go in the kitchen, along with the bros cup. That is actually it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smack that like button. Do not leave this video without hitting the like button, guys. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And also check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are gonna love it. In that video, we definitely got some awesome Halloween stuff for the collection, even more than we did today, because it was Spirit Halloween. So I'll see you guys over over there and as always rep pack i'll see you beautiful people in the next one adios Bloop.